Hola. El pintarabio que me he compuesto para este video is by Mario and it's called Rose Gold and I love these. It's just make my lipstick so pretty. Today I'm getting dressed with the intentions of going out for after work drinks and I get out of work at 2 p.m. so it's gonna be early drinks. Hence why I'm making <laughs> Mission. How do I marry both my work attire with my after work at 2 p.m. drink attire? I'm still a kid. This is what makes it impossible. It's at 2 p.m. You don't want to be overdressed, but you don't want to be underdressed. It's in the 60s today. In the shade, I am freezing. There's a constant draft. But then when you're in the sun, you're baking like you're in a beautiful beach. What a dilemma. Did I state that it's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon? It's a low-key but posh place. I'm going to work, so I don't want to bring a luggage with me to change. I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard, but I definitely want to look cuter than normal. But then I don't want to be overdone for work. How do I do my makeup for work? But still look cute for after work? Oh my god, I feel like I need a drink just to get dressed early in the morning. And it's 5 a.m. in the morning. Ah! Cueing the damn Mission Impossible music. And let's fix this. I better hurry the fuck up before I end up late for work. And my hair is out of control. My mom said I look like a mop, but a cute mop? Let's figure out what to wear. First order of business, I am wearing pants. Why am I wearing pants? Because it's a little bit chilly and I don't want to be thinking about how cold I am when I'm over there, okay? So we're going to go with denim. Why am I going to go with denim? Because I'm going to go to work so I will be able to still work. But I'm not just going to find like any denim, any regular denim. Because again, keep in mind, I am going to go for drinks. So what I'm going to do is try and look for jeans that are a little bit more dressed up. Right? So I can find the balance. That is my frame of mind. That is what I'm thinking right now. And where are my jeans? Okay, what do you think of these? I think these are going to be a great pick because I'm going to stay warm, right? Because they're long denim and they're going to keep this little girl warm. And they're not your regular jeans, right? So they have a little bit more going on here, a little bit more jewelry, a little bit more bling bling to kind of elevate the look, right? It's a little bit looser type of pant, long. It's kind of flared on the bottom. And so what I'm going to do is anchor it. But my thought process is that usually when I'm... Can you, can you just like, thank you. My thought process is I usually when I have something looser on the bottom, I try and anchor it with something tighter on the on the top and then vice versa. But I have been known to go all crazy and go wild out and just wear like big pieces on the top and big pieces on the bottom and then kind of anchor it with belts and things like that to give me a waistline and give me a body, right? So because those pants are going to keep me warm, I can go to work and not feel like it's too much, but then I can go and have drinks at 2 o'clock and not feel like completely underdressed, like I literally just came out of work, so I'm going to anchor it with a cute shirt. I'm thinking something tight, something like a body suit so that I can have like that sexy like I'm going out for drinks type of look but then I can still hide at work by putting a jacket over. I so smart right? This is like a great idea. Of course, I'm tooting my own horn. Let's find a shirt. I see more of a mess than anything else. I will show you in my closet but you may be shocked because I sure as hell am shocked. What freaking shirt am I gonna wear? Ooh, I know. Okay, you're not really going to be able to tell anything here, to be quite honest with you, because this is like that type of shirt that you just need to like wear it so you can see the true idea of it and how it looks. This shirt is by Fashion Nova, I believe. I will link everything down below. It's a bodysuit, actually, and it's like one of those cutout deals that are just super sexy and clingy to the body. And I think this will be a perfect combination. Like you have the loose pant with like the fitted top, and it's going to make me feel cute, dressed up. But still that I have like that work balance that I can be at work and do what I have to do. And if I feel a little bit overdressed for work, then I can just take a little jacket and put it over. So right about this point, I'm going to figure out my shoes. Now, of course, I can go ahead and bring some heels and stuff like who wouldn't like I love heels. And, you know, of course, I'm going to wear heels anytime that I get the opportunity to do so. I am going to work so I can what I can do there is obviously bring a pair of heels in my bag. But in my case, I have too many things going on in my bag as it is. Whatever shoe I wear is a shoe that I'm gonna have to go out with. At work, I always wear flats. And then it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I can get away with not having to wear heels because it's 2 p.m., right? It's like chilled vibe. I'm gonna opt for like my punk boots because I love punk boots. I think they look great with anything all across the board. They're sexy, they're badass, they're cool, right? So let's try this on. So I'm gonna go with these. These, I'm gonna give them a cleanup, don't worry, because they look a little bit beat up. These are perfect because they're shiny, so they give it more of a dressed up vibe. And why the hell did I sound like a valley girl? A vibe. <laughs> but they're super comfortable that I can wear them at work, of course, because that's what's making this mission impossible for Daisy. 
and then I can go out with them and still look fabulous and feel fabulous and then fix my hair my makeup and stuff like that so I'm going to show you how this works and how it looks on and then I'm going to do my makeup and then I'm ready to go to work and then after work drinks my thought process behind the makeup for this outfit is again it feels like it's impossible right like I have to find that happy medium between work and then after play and I'm the type of person that loves to play with my makeup so because I want to zhuzh it up, I figure the coolest, the most beautiful and sexy way to zhuzh it up is to wear bright color lipstick. I'm thinking red because under the sun it's going to stand out, it's going to look beautiful. It's going to be the perfect marriage and medium between work and then after like after work play, right? And I don't have to do so much with my eyes and things like that because, you know, I don't want to look like I overdid it for work. <laughs> I'm just going to frame my eyes and then I'm gonna add a little bit of like shimmer in my inner corner. Beautiful and somewhat subdued for work. Okay, so the... Hey Google, mute. So this is my look and I think it's perfect. It's like a little bit like defined and then to zhuzh it up and put a little bit of the sparkles that I love so much in the inner corners and then a beautiful red lip. And then, you know, I have curly, crazy hair, so I don't try and tame my hair too much. It is what it is, you know what I mean? I learned to love my hair. I'm gonna show you the whole outfit, and then I'm on my way to work, and then to after work drinks today. I'm excited. Ah, in three, two, one. Bing. a pair of earrings and then I'm gonna take my LV bag instead of my work bag and then just added a jacket and that's my outfit for the day now you let me know did I accomplish this mission impossible <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down